Welcome to Pinoy Guard. In today's episode, imagine a warship that combines strength and speed with advanced design. In the restless waters of the South China Sea, where threats can emerge from any direction, the KRI Golik 688 stands as a symbol of the latest innovation and resilience in maritime defense. Introduced in 2021 by PT London Industry Invest, the KRI Golik 688 is not just a fast missile boat. It is a technological masterpiece designed to meet modern challenges. With a length of over 60 meters and advanced radar absorbing composite materials, this vessel offers stealth capabilities that are hard to match by other ships in its class. What makes this ship so special? From its maneuverability in the shallow waters of the Philippines to its advanced weapon systems, the KRI Golik 688 offers a unique combination of speed, combat capability, and operational efficiency. In this video, we will explore the advantages of this ship in depth and compare it with similar vessels in the Philippines. Join us on a journey to uncover how the KRI Golik 688 could enhance the Philippine Navy's maritime defense and why this vessel is an attractive option in a modern fleet. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Let's dive into this adventure and see what makes the KRI Golik 688, a formidable contender in the maritime defense world. First, let's discuss the dimensions of this ship. With a length of 62.53 meters and a width of 16 meters, the KRI Golik 688 is designed to have exceptional maneuverability in shallow and narrow waters. These dimensions are well suited for the archipelagic waters of the Philippines, where there are many reefs and narrow channels. The ship can easily access areas that are difficult for larger vessels, enabling effective patrols and operations throughout the Philippine maritime region. Next, let's look at the materials used in the construction of the ship. The KRI Golik 688 is built with advanced carbon-based composite materials. This material not only provides high structural strength but also reduces the ship's radar signature. This stealth feature allows the vessel to operate more securely in threat-prone areas, making it difficult to detect by enemy radar. In the context of Philippine maritime defense, this capability can be a significant strategic advantage. The ship's performance is also noteworthy. With a maximum speed of over 28 knots and an operational range of about 2,000 nautical miles, the KRI Golik 688 can conduct patrols and rapid response missions efficiently. The high speed ensures that the ship can quickly reach threat locations, while the large operational range allows for extended patrols without frequent refueling. In terms of armament, the ship is equipped with various advanced combat systems. The KRI Golik 688 can be armed with anti-ship missiles, the primary weapon for countering threats from enemy vessels. Additionally, the mounted 30mm gun provides extra protection against aerial and surface threats, while additional weapons like heavy machine guns and rocket launchers offer greater flexibility in combat. The ship's navigation and electronic systems are also state-of-the-art. Equipped with the latest navigation and combat radar, integrated weapon control systems, and advanced sensors, the KRI Golik 688 offers excellent detection and firing accuracy. This technology ensures that the ship can identify and respond to threats accurately, making it a valuable asset in maintaining maritime security. Lastly, let's consider the ship's crew capacity. With a crew of about 30 personnel, the KRI Golik 688 is designed to operate efficiently without requiring a large number of crew members. This simplifies ship management and reduces operational costs, which is a crucial benefit in the context of limited defense budgets. With all these features and specifications, it is clear that the KRI Golik 688 offers numerous benefits and advantages that could strengthen the Philippine maritime defense. The ship not only brings advanced technology and combat capabilities but also the flexibility and operational efficiency needed to address maritime security challenges in the region. Now, let's discuss two important aspects that could have a significant impact on the Philippines the price and the technology transfer associated with the KRI Golik 688. Price and Investment The KRI Golik 
688 is estimated to cost between 10 million United States dollars and 20 million United States dollars per unit, which in Indonesian rupiah is approximately 156 billion to 312 billion Indonesian rupiahs. For the Philippines, this cost represents a significant investment in enhancing their maritime defense fleet. However, the price is not just a number. Investing in the KRI Golik 688 is not merely about purchasing a ship, but also about investing in improved defense capabilities and modern technology that can enhance national security. Technology Transfer and Domestic Industry Development One of the greatest benefits of acquiring the KRI Golik 688 is the opportunity for technology transfer. Here are some ways the Philippines could leverage this opportunity. Enhance Technological Capabilities by purchasing the ship from PT London Industry Invest, the Philippines gains access to advanced technology in ship design, composite materials, and weapon systems. This technology transfer provides valuable knowledge and skills for the Philippine defense industry. Local Industry Development The Philippines can use the experience and knowledge gained from this project to develop its local defense industry. This could involve technical training for engineers and technicians and the development of local production facilities for similar components and systems. Partnerships and Collaboration This acquisition could open opportunities for further partnerships with technology producers from other countries. The Philippines could establish stronger relationships with international defense companies and expand their capabilities in designing and producing defense equipment. Increased R&D Capacity the technology transfer from this project could boost the Philippines' research and development capacity. The country could develop local defense products with cutting-edge technology, enhancing innovation in the defense industry. Economic Impact Investing in ships and technology can create job opportunities and stimulate economic growth in the defense industry sector. By developing the domestic industry, the Philippines can reduce dependency on imports and enhance defense self-reliance. Conclusion in summary, the KRI Golik 688 represents a cutting-edge advancement in maritime defense technology, offering a blend of speed, stealth, and firepower that could significantly enhance the Philippine Navy's capabilities. Its impressive maneuverability, advanced materials, and robust armament make it a formidable asset for addressing modern maritime threats. Beyond its technical specifications, the ship's acquisition presents a strategic investment opportunity, providing not only immediate defense benefits but also long-term advantages through technology transfer and local industry development. The potential to strengthen the Philippines' maritime defense, coupled with the opportunity to boost domestic capabilities and foster international partnerships, makes the KRI Golik 688 a compelling choice for future acquisition. The investment in this advanced vessel could play a crucial role in securing the nation's maritime interests and ensuring a robust defense posture in the region. Closing. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the KRI Golik 688 and its potential impact on the Philippine Navy. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Your support helps us bring more valuable information to you. Stay tuned for more exciting content on maritime defense and security. Until next time, keep safe and vigilant. See you in the next episode of Pinoy Guard.